cloud is one of the smaller and most unusual experiments at CERN. Its purpose is to study the effect of cosmic rays on the formation of clouds in Earth's atmosphere. These new results from cloud uh, are important because we've made a number of uh, first observations of some very important processes that may be going on in the atmosphere. And they concern the formation of uh, embryonic clusters of particles that may eventually grow to become the seeds for cloud droplets. And in particular, we've measured the effects of cosmic rays, or the ions from cosmic rays, on the formation of these particles. And what we found is that cosmic rays do significantly enhance the production of these particles. Uh, we've also managed to measure, for the very first time, exactly the molecules that are participating uh, in these uh, so-called critical clusters, which uh, are important because uh, at this size, the clusters typically will evaporate. And we've discovered exactly why it is that they don't evaporate and grow above this cri critical size. Cloud consists of a cloud chamber, that is, a three meter stainless steel, super clean chamber, specially optimized to study the formation of clouds and their aerosol seeds under controlled conditions. A beam of particles from the CERN proton synchrotron is directed across this chamber as an artificial source of cosmic rays, and the effects are observed by scientists. The experiment has been built by an interdisciplinary team of uh, aerosol scientists, atmospheric chemists, particle physicists, and I can say without exaggeration it's a dream team. We have uh, absolutely the top experts from Europe and also from America and Russia. Cloud has found that cosmic rays enhance the formation of aerosols from the condensation of minute amounts of sulfuric acid and ammonia vapors in the atmosphere. They have also shown that, contrary to what was previously thought, these vapors are not sufficient on their own to explain atmospheric observations of aerosol formation. Investigating additional vapors, such as organic species produced, for example, by trees, will be the next step for cloud. We've also uh, measured, very importantly, the step-by-step -step, uh, growth of these embryonic clusters uh, as the molecules come in. Nobody's ever done that. So all these measurements are very important uh, for using in climate models now to try and evaluate their significance on, on clouds in the atmosphere. <laughs>